Well, how do that, Charles? It is I, Captain of the Steves, and today, Charles, for you guys out there in the viewerverse, I'm going to give you my top tips for cooking. And as you can see here, my last couple of pages inside of my catalogue, I've hardly got any bakes done. So you know what? I'm going to get the last two pages completed inside of this video, and I'm going to tell you the tips on how best to complete yours back inside of the viewerverse. So all those black entries, and you're probably thinking, well, what are they? How can I cook them if I have no names for them? Well, if you just simply go into your mode selection, so go to Options and go to Quit to Mode Select. If you hit on Upper Create, save either create a new one or pick one that you already have inside of creative mode you are going to see the full catalog so just load in bring up the actual catalog and you can see what all those blank things are freaking heck yes you can so there you go just take note of the name look it up inside of the app and find out how to make it but you can see here what the base is that's riving rolling batter that one's extra fluffy batter okay so if you can get that part done you're half way there and sometimes the clues in the actual name of the actual bag will give you a clue as to what you need like if it says jam you're probably going to need gra jam aren't you which you're going to need a gra berry yeah so a lot of it kind of makes sense in what you need to do and some of it you can half guess without using the app but if you haven't got the app on your mobile devices what are you doing people in the viewerverse heck yes check out the video description to find links and information but yes it's available for all mobile devices heck yes Right, so I'm going to make some of that rifing batter. So I'm going to use a laffle core. There we go. Chicka pow, put that into there. And then some of this processed sugar is going to make the delicate meringue, which is a key component of making your rifing batter. I guess this. There we go. Let's get that on the bake. Now you're probably thinking, well, laffle cores. I don't want to have to run around on planets harvesting them from those little green freaking critters all day long. Heck no. Bacon's not for me. Well, now we have the new pirate systems in space people you can just go to those pirate areas in space and you can buy the larval core so I've got one inside of my station terminus so I'm just going to warp there but if you haven't got one I put a video in the top right hand corner on how you can find pirate systems aren't I a lovely person I guess I is hello there pilled face man right so I'm now gonna buy myself some larval cores here we go let's buy those thank you very much you look like you're out of Hellraiser but we won't dwell on it let's head on over to my space terminus and let's get on back down to my space base well my archive base lovely here i am i've arrived located right so now i need to make some flour so to make some flour i'm gonna pick this blue flower this frost wart crystal plant and i'm gonna stuff it into here so let's pop it over there chuck this in here i don't need to do the whole lot because we've got a time limit and all that sort of shenanigans to worry about because we're making a video right so it's gonna make grass gl grains glass grains and those glass grains are going to turn into flour yes refined flour you know the stuff that you used to bake with yes i know it says glass in the title and i know that sounds freaking dangerous don't cook with glass at home here we go and we're making refined flour brilliant now we are going to need reams of this luckily when you pick a glass one of those uh, frost crystal wart plants you're going to get shed loads out of it so yeah i just put it by for a rainy day there we go we've got our refined flour so to make our rifing rolling batter, we are going to need those larval cores that we just bought. So not only do you need them in the delicate meringue, but you also need them inside of the rifing batter. So here we go, let's put that into there, and there we are. What a lovely green shade it is. Brilliant. So we're just going to be making ourselves a little mini stack of this. Now there's quite a lot of bakes that need this. What I would suggest is that you count how many bakes need that and make sure you get enough to do all of the bakes in one go. So there we go. There's my riving rolling batter. And that's stage one of a bake. Heck yeah. Now, another ingredient that's quite difficult to come by is the hexberry. I'll show you which planet to get this off of, but if you put in some processed sugar with the hexberry, you're going to get anomalous jam. Now, there's a lot and lot of bakes out there, people, that you need anomalous jam for. So there we go. It's quite hard to say as well. I'm going to stick that there. We're going to sell some anomalous jam. Oh, I just need to make the secondary ingredients to mix with this. So here we go. Let's get the actual wild milk because I need to turn that into cream. And again, there's a lot of bakes that you need cream. But we're going to grab that, put that over into there. Then I'm going to get what I made from the hexberry. So, well, is that the anomalous jam so here we go anomalous jam grab that stick that there and then one final ingredient which is the rifing rolling batter and look at that 
I've made myself an unbound monstrosity. Wow, brilliant, lovely job. Yeah, that's a lovely looking tart, isn't it? So there you go, people. I'm slowly building out my cooked goods and my last couple of pages just on the writhing rolling batter. Yeah. Awesome. I'll reconvene in a moment, but oh, I need to show you where to get some hex berries from, don't I? Heck yes. Right, so hex berries, you're going to find those on strange planets. You know the trophy planets like this one with all of these light fishes, but any of these sort of trophy planets, there's quite a fair few biomes like this, you're going to find hex berries upon them. So yeah, there we go. That's what a hex berry looks like. Hello there, hex berry. And the snozz berries look like snozz berries. <laughs> what is a snozz berry? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's from Charlie in the chocolate factory the original one not the remakey shite one right okay brilliant now i'm looking for another rare ingredient well, i say it's a rare one it's a fire berry they only frequent the sort of planets that have solarium on it but yes there's no solarium inside of this system i'm on a lava world they don't grow on lava world so what i've done is i've gone inside of my catalog and all i'm going to do is select solarium i know that the actual fire berry grows on a solarium planet so, once you've actually selected it, it puts it into your sweep scanner, your sort of survey sort of scanner inside your multi-tool. Hope you've got one installed. And then when you jump on out to the galactic map, people, look at this. It's going to give you a little sort of direction on how to find one. And you can see a little icon for it right there. And then just jump on in. Now I encounter a battle. So yeah, I'm just going to give you some music to listen to while I do this. Captain Steve, oh Captain Steve, uh, Captain, Captain! Captain Steve, oh Captain Steve, how do you do the things you do? But Captain Steve, oh Captain Steve, I want to play the game with you. Well, there you go, people. I have now arrived to Coated Insta. To one of these big hot nasty planets that has solarium on but not only does it have solarium i've spotted the plants i want there's the little rascal right there i'm gonna land right next to the oh my days look at the planets just hanging in the horizon and look at this sky that deserves a freaking photo that's going on twitter yes yeah, sean murray please share this out that'd be freaking lovely if you do Oh, what a lovely freaking image that is. I want that on my blanking wall. That's amazing. That could even be my thumbnail for this video. But then it's got nothing to do with bloody cooking, has it? Well, I could put a big arrow pointing at that plant, maybe. Yeah, yeah, I could do that. And people would be like, what is that plant? Yes, I could do that. That might, that might work. Lovely. Anyhow, let's go and pick that plant. That's the fireberry. That's the little kitty I'm after. Lovely. So that can make all the sorts of flaming hot recipes that we may need. It's the chilli plant of No Man's Sky, and it's not chilli by any stretch of the imagination, it's freaking hot! Okay, right, any more? I need some more of this fireberry solivine. No, you're not what I'm after. What else have we got over here? Oh, and more fireberry. Don't mind if I do. Right now, so there we go, people. I have now completed the last two pages on here using the tips and tricks that I have explained during this video sequence. Now, there was also proto milk. Proto milk you get from the little Ewoki type creatures, you know, the little bipedal ones. You may need to put down a few bases on rare fauna creature planets, like say Diplos, and also those to get some of your ingredients and maybe do harvesters and things to get them. Anyway, until next time, people, goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again. Well, thank you very much for watching if you like what you see please hit a like and a subscribe and i'd like to say a massive great big thank you to all of my backers over on patreon and over on youtube membership thanking you backers and if you want to support this channel just don't skip the adverts that throws revenue down my avenue or yeah just stay with captain steve a little bit longer and hit something on this screen there's merch here now too